Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Super People game on EPBL. Now, the first step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for NVIDIA, go to NVIDIA website. Select the graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search. Scroll down, the first one is the latest driver. So click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Then you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. Then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now in case if you, have, if you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security. Now go to Windows security, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down here, you can see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Then click on allow an app through control folder access, then click on yes to allow go to the game installation folder so click on browse all apps over here and it may be in c drive in your case so open program files x86 then open the steam folder then open steam apps folder then open the common folder over here you will find the super people folder in my case it's in d drive so open the steam folder steam apps common and then open the game folder Select all the game exe files. Select it, then click on open. Now again click on browse all apps. Second, select the launcher, and then click on open and add all the exe file. Now again click on browse all apps. Now this time open Bravo Hotel game folder, open binaries folder, then open Win64. Select this Bravo Hotel client Win64 exe file. And then click on open. Now do the same thing with game underscore be dot exe file. Click on open. And once it is added, now you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game files. For this, go to the Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files, and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator. So make a right click on the game in Steam and then go to manage then click on browse local files. It will straight away open the game installation folder. Now select the game exe file. And then go to properties. Go to the compatibility, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, ok. Do the same thing with ggrun.exe, make a right click. Properties, go to compatibility, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, ok. Now try to launch the game. Now the next step is to disable Steam overlay and close all the overlay application. So make a right click on the game, select properties. Now if the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game, if this is checked, uncheck this box and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to update windows to the latest version. For this go to the start menu then click on settings. Now go to update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to install visual C++ file for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17 and 19. Install both x86 and x64 for, uh, 64 version. So click on x86 and then click on x64. Download both the exe file and then run both the exe file one by one. Click on repair or install whatever you see. Click on yes to allow. Run the x86 version as well. Click on repair or install whatever you see. And let the installation complete. Now once the installation is complete, you will see the restart option. So click on restart and restart your computer. Now once both the installation is complete, now click on restart and then after system restart, try to launch the game. 
Now the next step is to install media feature pack. So if you have Windows 10 N edition, then install media feature pack. So go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to apps and then click on apps and features and then go to optional features. Now click on add a feature and over here type in media feature pack. Now once you type in media feature pack, you will find media feature pack over here. I have Windows 10 home so I don't have media feature pack. In your case you will find media feature pack like this. Put a check on the box over here and then on the bottom click on install after the installation restart the computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card. So if your computer has a dual graphic card, make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card. For this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here. Now click on browse and go to the game installation folder. So open the steam folder, steam apps, common, open the super people folder, select all the exe file over here, click on add. Once it is added, select options, high performance, save, again click on browse, then select ggrun.exe, click on add, and once added, click on options, high performance, save, again click on browse, select the launcher, add, again click on options, high performance, save, and now you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean boot. To perform a clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. In my case, it's grayed out. In your case, it will be highlighted. I already did it. So put a check over here first, then click on disable all, then click on apply. Okay, you will see the restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner running the computer, close MSI Afterburner. Now if you have Revert Tuner running the computer, close Revert Tuner. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord running on the computer, close the Discord. And if you have GE Force Experience running the computer, go ahead and close GE Force Experience. So close all the overclocking and overlay application. Also close all the background applications. So if, make sure that only the Steam and the game is running. Rest close everything, including all the browsers. Now the next step is to launch the game in window mode. So you can press Alt plus Enter to switch to window mode. Also lower down the graphic settings. So go to the graphic settings. And if everything is set to ultra or very high, high, you can set it to medium or you can even try lower graphic settings and then check the performance. If nothing is working, you can uninstall and reinstall the game. So go to the Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. After you uninstall, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder. And after you delete the game folder, restart your computer. And after the system restart, try to install the game to a different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try to install the game to a different drive and then launch the game. So one of the steps should definitely help you. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to the channel.